Hi, how are you? It's Dramson here, and welcome back to our adventures with Elsent the Worgen Hunter. Today we are continuing our journey in the Eastern Plague Lands. Let's have a chat here with Urk Gagbaz. How may I help Go you? Can you believe that after all the trouble we have in the Plague Lands, we have to worry about thieves too, and not just normal thieves, troll thieves. And just, not just normal troll thieves, dead troll thieves. They're led by this big dead troll named Zaldar the Outcast, and they came here come here at night and steal bodies from our graveyards then take them back to their evil dead troll hideout the undercroft of the southwest go there and take out Zaldar I'll send I'm sick of I'm sick to death of his mischief your blades never dull. all right so we got some more quests here we will persevere I think these guys are all yeah Argent Crusade while we're waiting here at this tower, we might as well see if anybody else is headed to Light's Hope Chapel. The more the merrier, I say. Ask around to see if anybody wants to join us on our trip. I'm sure you can find somebody who's headed to Light's Hope. Greetings. Little Pamela. Have a good one. The battle for Darrowshire still haunts me, Morgan. I wake up in cold sweats, convinced that I'm still here, that it is happening all over again. I've coped with the loss of my comrades, but the loss of my family members is still cripplingly painful. One of my kin lost during the attack was my young niece, Pamela. If you are brave enough to enter Darrowshire, will you search for any sign of Pammy? Darrowshire's ruins are due south of here. See you around. Okay, so let's make our way upstairs here, guys. Seems to be one more quest. It looks like the Light Hope Chapel is, or I mean, the Scarlet Crusade. Actually, I can't believe it. the Argent Crusade. I mean, I've been taking over the towers here in the Plague Lands. What can I do for you? Rough roads. For the, the Argent Crusade built these towers to be points of light in the darkness of the Plague Lands. I walk the paths between these towers, protecting and maintaining them. The roads have been dangerous lately. Plagued wildlife runs rampant, and bats swoop down upon unsuspecting travelers it would make the next leg of my journey much easier if you could clear some of this wildlife out of the way for me see you later all right so it looks like i guess the the Arch crusade have taken over the towers back in classic or i guess vanilla the alliance or the horde could take these over and you would get a, a five percent i think damage increase if you had control of all the towers and you could actually use that in the raid, I believe, inside of Nax, which is well, used to be just up here. All right, so we got a lot of quests to do. Let's see where we'll go first. I guess we'll head down here and turn this quest in, little Pamela. I think this might be the same quest that you do in um, in vanilla. I'm not too sure. But I remember doing a quest like this back back then. I think I did it on my hunter. Trap and Trev. Hello, I'm Pamela. What's your name? Pretty sure this is the same little girl. Pamela's doll. My auntie Marlene told me to stay here in our house because of my father. My father had to go to fight. My father's the bravest man in the whole world, but I've been here for a long time and he hasn't come for me. Sometimes bad people come and whisper to me and I want my dad to make them go away, but he's not here. And sometimes when it's dark, I want to play with my doll, but I can't because I left it in town. Will you find my doll for me? I'm not supposed to tell you this. My daddy always kept two swords, one for fighting with men and one for hunting the animals. I wasn't supposed to touch his swords, but I knew where he hid them. One day he told my mommy that he was going to fight a lone hunter in the hills to the east, but he brought this, his animal sword with him. When he came back, he didn't have his sword with him. When daddy comes back, he'll be so happy when I give him his animal sword. Will you go find it? Okay, well, let's go find these items. And I remember there's like a, a gauntlet quest here. It was pretty tough. 
I did it on my hunter. I think we got a little bit of help from a paladin, though. I forget the story, though. Completely, but it was it was pretty... I remember it being pretty good. Alright, we got the doll. There's the ghost. Ghost of the past. Looks like we have to collect... different parts of the doll. Here's the head. And I wonder if this will be the same question. I hope it is. Because it was pretty good. Forget who her dad is, but he's I think he's a pretty important person. Damn it. It's always like another one that spawns. Work had to deal with this guy. Let's put down explosive trap. Keep him inside it. Get some procs. And I did check out Phase Four Season of Discovery. It was pretty good. It's good launch. Got in pretty damn easily. And I got to check out the Black Rock Mountain Eruption event. And I think they did a good job with it. I didn't get to check out the dailies, because I think you have to be level 60 to do those. But I did get to do some PvP in Black Rock Mountain, and that was a lot of fun. You get a buff when you're in Black Rock Mountain. That gives you... Um, Gives you 300% honor gain increase for every person you, every honorable kill you get. So it's, it's it promotes people to PvP while in Brackmock Mountain for the event. And there was a bunch of alliance in there, and we were just wrecking the horde for the first time I, I went in there. And a, a 40 man came in, a horde, and they uh, kind of pushed us back a bit, which is cool. And then um, we eventually pushed them back and we were just wrecking the Alliance the whole time. The second time the eruption went off, though, the Horde took over the mountain. And I got wrecked quite a bit. But it was a lot of fun. I, I like this uh, this new event that they got. I haven't checked out the, the dailies, though, so when I hit 60, I'll check those out and see what it's like. There's also meteors outside the mountain just falling down. and They do a bunch of damage to you. There's a ton of elementals running around. I think they did a great job with the event. So, pretty positive experience so far. I'm looking forward to going into Black Rock Depths, seeing if there's any changes with that dungeon, and hopefully into Molten Core eventually. Do we get all of them? Do we? Oh, we have to probably put the doll together, right? I forgot about that part. There we go. Now we're done. Yeah, Season of Discovery. Pretty positive experience so far. Pamela's doll. Did you find my doll? You found it? You found my doll? Oh, thank you. Alright, so we got the doll. Ray, my doll, you'll keep the bad people away, won't you? Okay, so now we gotta find the sword. Supposedly that's, uh, over here. Joseph's hunting blade. The Lone Hunter. What the heck?
He's got a blade in his head. We got it. Joseph's hunting blade. And one thing I heard about the... There's like a problem with Classic Era. They did a lot of updates. I think I talked about it already. Supposedly the ruins from Season of Discovery uh, were in Classic Era for a little bit, which is it sounds terrible. Daddy loves his animal sword. He seemed sad, but he didn't have it anymore. That's my daddy's sword. How did you find it? Did you find the bad hunter? All right, so it looks like none of these items are really good for us. So what we'll do here, we'll take uh, one that just sells for the most. I'm going to play with Dolly, but I don't want to play with Daddy's sword after all. You better keep it. Even better, can you give it to my Uncle Carlin? I'm not sure where he is, but sometimes I hear him crying. It sounds like he's nearby to the north. I hope he's not crying for me, Elsent. Will you find my uncle and tell him I'm all right? If you find him, say I'm waiting for him and I want to hear the story he used to tell me. The one about the rabbits and the berry jam. That story's so funny. Okay. So let's head north. So I, I think, uh, I remember Carlin being back here in the in the Western Plague Lance. It's like at this uh, graveyard here near Uther's tomb. But I guess they just may put him in a closer location. So they, that seems to be the trend with a lot of these zones. They just uh, reduce the travel time by quite a bit. Which I see is a good thing overall. Does change the story though. But I think we'll probably check out this, uh, this quest chain today. It's a pretty good one from what I remember. Uncle Carlin. Well, there he is, Carlin Redpath. Any news of my Pammy? For the You've seen Pamela? She's alive? She's dead? No, my oh Pamela. Why does your spirit still suffer in this world? Why are you perished? While fortune keeps me alive, in an instant I would switch places with you and wander dead Darshire, a ghost and alone. Uh, but this news cannot change fate. Thank you, Elsa. Now my duty, my duty to revenge burns hot as ever. Say, what is that sword you have there? Be careful. That sword belonged to Joseph Redpath, Pamela's father. But you probably already knew that. I wish Joseph could again be with his daughter, but it cannot be so. His soul was twisted by the scourge, and he became a monster. Pamela's fate is sealed, but perhaps we can change Joseph's fate. A strange gnome arrived here at this tower not long ago. His, her name was Chromie. Take the sword to her. I have a feeling she'll be able to help us. Have a good one. All right, so let's go have a chat with Chromie. There she is. Hello there, Elsen. I am known as Cro Normu, but you may call me Chromie. I am comfortable with such familiarity. Now, how did I know your name? You ask, I am one of the Bronze Dragonflight, forever attuned to the ebb and flow of time. You could say that we have met before. To that end, we also meet again. Are you interested in joining our caravan? We're headed to Lights Hope Channel. We can get Chromie with us. That'd be pretty good. No thanks. Maybe sometime in the future or the past. Not today. We got rejected. There is nothing. There is something timely about your visit. You are not from the future, are you? What is this? A war sword? A butter knife? I'm useless when it comes to blades. Let me see. Ah, the sword was once in the hand of a great man, but there's much tragedy in that man's past. Are you here to help him? It's far too late for him now, but perhaps we can help him in the past. Oh, wow. Look, see, look at all these quests. Villains of Darrowshire. The Animals of Darrowshire tells of the villains of the battle. It tells how the ghoul lord Horgus the Ravager was destroyed by Alliance forces during the battle. He was slain among the foothills north of here, and his skull remains there. Marduk the Blade, the Black was never defeated, but his fabled sword now rests ownerless. It can be found near the road to, the, to our southeast. Retrieve these items, Elsent. I know not why, but I am certain their fate lies with you. Heroes of Darrowshire. Heroes of Darrowshire held relics of their own. 
and inside those relics lie more precious memories. First speak to Carlin and obtain the extended annals of Daroshar. Within the tome lies the narrative that will drive our excursion through time. Then you will need to head west to the Maris Stead. The former owner of the Maris for farmhouse collected relics from the Battle of Daroshar. For what reason, I am not certain. Gather these relics and return to me. Marauders of Daroshire, I require a rare reagent for the powerful spell I intend to cast. Skulls from the Scourge who took part in the Battle of Daroshire. Take this crystal and hunt Scourge champions for their skulls. The crystal is enchanted. If a champion took part in this battle, then you, then when you pass the crystal over, its skull will, will resonate. Bring me those resonating skulls, Goel sent. You'll find Scourge champions in the Fungal Vale to the north. Go. Okay, so Chromie's here now. Chromie used to be in Anderhal. I believe. I remember, yeah, you find her in like a... A worn down house in Anderhal. Let's get... So what should we do first here? So I guess we'll get the skull. The skull of Horgus. And the Shattered Sword of Marduk. We also have to slay these bats. I wonder if we can skin these guys. Damn. Put a trap down here. I don't think we can skin the bats. Yeah, we can. Nice. Heavy leather. We need it. We're 20... 20 skill points away from 300. So we'll have to upgrade our skinning soon. Supposedly, the Shattered Sword of Marduk is just down the road here. Spectral Marauders. I wonder if we pick up the sword, what will happen? Doesn't look like anything happens. Oh, they just all... A bunch of spirits spawn and they disappear. So I guess we'll keep heading down the road. I think there's one more. I see Red Path shields over here. Probably try to slay these plague bats while we're here. Just to clear up the map. I'm not too sure what happened to my my pet bar. Just noticed a couple episodes ago that it disappeared. I'm using Bartender. Maybe I updated it or something happened. Try to get it back up, but it's not a uh, on the screen anymore. Like we have this part that shows his abilities, but we don't have the other. Other abilities that tell him to attack or run away or follow. Assist. So the Plague Lands does look uh, the same. Not much of a difference here. How many more bats do we need? The quests are different, though. That's mostly what I'm interested in. I want to see if uh, the Scarlet Crusade are still here. 
There's actually one Scarlet Crusade. We've, we've ran by him a few times. It's like the only member I've seen. And he's just... Uh, he's at the entrance of Hearth Glen. It's like he's been standing there for, for a long time and he didn't know that everybody left. But we'll see if uh, they're still here in the, in the Eastern Plaguelands. Got this hidden stash, some extra gold revealed by Fiona's lucky charm. Nice. So we got that buff. We got one silver, 45 copper. And that's from uh, the Fiona's lucky charm buff that you get while you're in uh, Eastern Plague Lands. I took it over the other ones because they didn't really help us as a hunter. Like one that's good for melee DPS, and then another one that's good for casters. Didn't really seem too great for, for others. And we don't really need the help, I don't think. We're doing just fine without the buff. Let's head up here. We gotta find Red Path's shield. We'll turn this quest in. We still have to find a traveling companion. I guess we'll start asking people. Whoever we talk to, we'll ask them if they want to join our traveling party. right up here rough roads of course a young worgen like you would have no trouble taking care of a few wild animals with the roads clear my journey to the next tower will be much easier i wonder if that like he, he said that because we're a worgen i wonder what the dialogue would be if we were another race so let's see what they got for us crown guard armbands six agi six stamina 116 armor male wrists that is a defensive upgrade. Lose a little bit of damage. Or there's a leather chest. 9 Agi, 13 stamina. 162 armor. So we'll have more damage from this. We lose 7 hit rating though. I think we'll just take the, the mail gear. We'll start you trying know. to get mail gear. So we'll put the wrists on. Lose a little bit of damage. What can I do for you? Let's see if he's interested in um, joining our, our caravan. Oh, he actually... Uh, said yeah help me clear the roads of all that nasty wildlife so i suppose i have no choice let's get going have a good one all right so we got uh argus high beacon now in our traveling caravan group kind of surprised the like the second person we asked would join but i guess we built up built up a good reputation with them by clearing out those bats Pick up this quest too, might as well. Scenarian tenacity. Those druids never give up. I swear I'd given up on the plague lands years ago, but the scenarian circle folks keep telling me that the land is beyond hope. The most recent visitor was a night elf on her way to the fungal vale to the north. She told me that these lands will make a full recovery. If we try hard enough, I'm not sure I believe her. Do you buy this drivel? Maybe you and her should talk. She should be. She should still be up there. Go forth to victory. Well, there she is. Our oh, enemies is, will that's fall. That's not her. Terranar. Argus High Beacon. That old guy on the top of the tower. Great. A man his age must have been in the Argent Crusade for a long time. Maybe he can put in a good word for us at Light's Hope. Well, well. All right. So that's the quest we turned in from uh, getting someone to join our traveling caravan. Guess we'll tell uh, the owner the, the news. The trek time. continues. I believe the horses are ready. Argus Beacon, Argus High Beacon, the gentleman who works with the Argent Crusade, spoke with me earlier. I understand he will be coming with us. That's great. I'll make room for him. I know that you are busy, 
so there's no hurry. Whenever you're ready, hop into the caravan. And we'll proceed to the next I tower. Stand up business here. So I guess we end up going to like all the towers in in the Plague Lands and just helping out the Argent Crusade. Let's go get the Skull of Horgus, guys. I think we'll do that. I didn't. I don't know where the heck his shield is. But we'll we'll check that out. We'll go back after this. Should have looked a little bit while we were there. All right, so here we are. There's a bunch of spirits fighting a putrid gargoyle. Doom. No, they're actually fighting each other, the undead and the, and the humans. Right, so let's pick up the skull of Horgus. Where is a silver hand when we need their help? There is no hope. So it looks like they were uh, losing this battle. Wonder if that's with the scourge. I guess it's with the scourge, right? I don't think that's the forsaken. Kill command more. Just so our pet can hold threat. Because I, I notice I'm getting threat off of him quite a bit. It's one difference between uh, Beastmaster. Beastmaster, it's like impossible to get get uh, your pet. Like to get aggro off your pet. So I'll turn this in. Did you find the skull and the sword, I'll send? Found them well done, Elsent. These relics hold within them the memories of the Scourge's forces at Darashire. We will need these if we are to save Joseph Redpath. All right, so we got some leather legs, 9 Agi, 11 Stam, proves crit rating by 6. Sounds pretty good. Looks like an upgrade to me. Seeker's Bridges. Put those on. We have to find... You need something? Yeah, we have to find the shield. Carlin, do you have the extended annals of Daroshar? Why, yes. Does Chromie need this? I suppose she would. Yes, you may have it. Feel free to leaf through the pages. Inside, you will find the history of Daroshar and the details of events that led to the deaths of so many men. For the Alliance. Might be with you. Just saw a couple of things here. Light bless you. Okay. We still need... Okay, so there we go. We got that. Now we have to head over here and get Red Pass Shield and Dabble's Leaper. We'll check out the uh, extended analysis of Daroshire here. Hopefully we're going the right way. There we go. The analysis of Daroshire. Daroshire named from the Daroshire Lake to its west is a village tucked into the southern foothills of Lordaeron. Known for humble yet hard-working residents, Daroshire stayed in the background of Lordaeron's history until the Second War. Heroes were made during that war, and heroes were lost. The Battle of Daroshire. The Battle of Daroshire took place in the middle... Let's fight these dogs here. In the middle of the Second War... When the Scourge forces rampaged across Lordaeron, Dareshire was cut off from the bulk of the Alliance forces, but the town was bolstered by a company of troops. 
a contingent of paladins of the Silver Hand, and a staunch group of local militia led by Captain Joseph Redbat. It's like, all right, so Joseph was the leader. Pamela's dad. The Scourge first assaults on Darrowshire were sparse. Small groups of marauding skeletons and corpses wandered the outskirts of the village and were easily defeated. But the Scourge sensed the defenders' tenacity and responded in kind. Soon after the first wave of attacks, a second wave emerged. Champion ghouls, servants of the ghoul lord Orgus, screamed down from the hills and clashed with beleaguered Darrowshire defenders. The defenders weakened but were relieved by paladins, disciples of the Silver Hand. Their leader, Dabble Crockford, was a native of Darrowshire. He brought his followers to the village when he heard of the impending attack. And together with the defenders, they held back the servants of Horgus. While Horgus himself entered the battle, he met with Davil for many minutes. They fought, and Davil eventually prevailed, but he suffered a mortal wound and died soon after, defeating the Ghoul Lord. All right, there we go. We got Redpath's shield. The battle continued, and Captain Redpath led his militia bravely, and it might have been one had the captain not been corrupted by the Death Knight Marduk the Black. We're looking for uh, Davil's Libra Mirror. In the middle of the fray, Marduk rode up to Redpath, and with black magic, he tore loose Redpath's spirit, twisting it into an evil shadow of the brave captain. The corrupted captain, Redpath, then spread his evil taint among the defenders of Darrowshire, who betrayed their allies and slaughtered them. They then turned on the town of Darrowshire and killed all who hid in their homes. The remaining Scourge army, along with the corrupted spirit of Captain Redpath, then left the ravaged vi village of Darrowshire and tore into Lordaeron, adding to the pain and death of the Second War. The fate of Horgus the Ravager. Horgus the Ravager fell during the Battle of Darrowshire, but the evil within him was not fully spent. The victorious Scourge forces removed the skull from the battlefield of Darrowshire, carrying it with them to so dread among the living they faced. Days later, the company of Scourge who possessed the head were defeated by Silverhand Paladins. Horgus' head was cast into Blackwood Lake. Oh, there it is. Libram was in a sneaky spot. Oh, there's a doggo. There's a bunch of doggos here. Trying to get a little bit of aggro going. Fate of Marduk the Black. Marduk survived the Second War, causing great death and suffering with his foul, rune laden sword. Although Marduk still lives, his sword was lost in a battle near Corin's Crossing. The dwarf captain shattered the sword on his enchanted she shield, forcing Marduk to flee the field and winning the day for the Alliance. Marduk's sword sank into the earth and corrupted it, eating a gorge into the land now known as the Infectus Scar. Quite the story here. The fate of Davil a Lightfire. I guess we'll head down here. We'll get Zaildar's head. I'm going to keep checking this out. Fate of Davil Lightfire. Davil Lightfire died at the Battle of Darrowshire, but his bravery inspired the Alliance throughout the war. His book is Paladin's Libra. It was recovered by Scarlet Crusade troops. It now resides in the Town Hall of the Scarlet Crusade controlled Earth Glen, often read by Crusaders eager to draw from Davil's strength. The thing is, Earth Glen's not controlled by the, the Scarlet Crusade anymore, right? So this is an old book. 
It's now controlled by the Argent Crusade. The fate of Joseph Redpath. Joseph Redpath was killed during the Battle of Darashire. His spirit was corrupted and took new shape. And this creature spread great evil in Lordaeron. At Garon's Withering, east of Anderhal, the corrupted Redpath was finally defeated by Alliance forces. His shield still rests near the barn of the plagued farmstead. And Scourge minions are still drawn to the memory of his evil. Fate of Carlin Redpath. Brother to Captain Joseph Redpath, Carlin fell during the Battle of Darrowshire, but although terribly wounded, he was not slain. Days after the battle, agents of the Arch of Dawn found Carlin wandering weak from thirst and fever near Corrin's Crossing. They tended to his wounds and brought him to the Light's Hope Chapel. Grateful for their charity, Carlin joined the ranks of the Arch of Dawn and now fights a battle of revenge against the Scourge. All right, so there we go. That was uh, the Battle of Darrowshire. Quite a few characters involved in that. And I guess we'll figure out the rest once we complete this quest. Maybe we'll fight Joseph Redpath. Maybe we gotta go inside this crypt to fight this troll. Getting a couple hidden stashes here, making a little bit of coin. It'd be nice if they gave you a little, like, 50 silver. Oh, actually, maybe that would be a little OP, but one silver is, like, getting, like, two to four silver. I wonder if there's a chance to get really lucky and get, like, 100 gold. That'd be awesome. There he is. Zaildar the Outcast. Get a bunch of threat from that. And set a trap here. All right, Zaldar has been slain. And we have his head. Alright, so I guess we'll head back to the tower. And we'll see what happens next. Let's see, I remember the spirit was talking to us. The Darrowshire... Poltergeist. You must save him. I was devoured by Horgus. I can still feel his teeth upon me. The light must prevail. Alright. And we have uh, a debuff called Haunted. Chill surrounds you. You find the hideout I'll send. Did you take care of Zaldar? Great, you got him. And I hope you taught his gang a lesson too. Do you have the relics I'll send? You have the relics, good. I will get to work on resolving any temporal discontinuities. Don't worry. That's not something you have to worry about. You just gather the reagents. Okay, so there's there's one more reagent left, right? Can I help you? What's the final thing we need? A ride from... Is that it? What's the last thing we need for this quest? Do you have the skulls? They are critical for my spell. What quest is that? Where the hell did we get the skulls? Is it back in the Western Plaguelands? Not too sure. The remaining skulls. Wave over a fetid skull to test its resonance. 
not too sure where the fetid skulls are. Maybe it was like around one of those scenarios where the Alliance was fighting the Scourge. Maybe it's in the cemetery. In the fungal veil to the north. Alright, so that's where we gotta go. I think this is probably the fungal veil up here. Where the Cenarian Tenacity quest is. Yeah, they're there. Scourge champions. Let's uh, turn this in though, quick. Hello, Hunter. Please try not to draw too much attention. I suppose I had better work on my stealth if you were able to find me. But you're interested in helping me heal the plague lance. Go in peace. You have a keen eye to have seen me here hidden among the grasses. Ahead of us lies the fungal veil, an area that the Scourge still cling tightly to. They use floating constructs to continually replague the land, keeping it vile and polluted. The devices are controlled with ruins, which are held by dark adepts and shadow mages. Take the controlling ruins that these cultists hold, aim them at the plague disseminators, and then overcharge them with this moat. The results should be amusing. Amidst death and life, scourge forces have made it a point to ensure that nothing survives the fungal veil. All you will find are tusks of rotted mushrooms and scorched grasses. The three corners of the veil are home to three large ziggurats, which they use to reanimate that are dead and summon new soldiers to the battlefield. Yet even in this evil, lifeless place, life finds a way to flourish. Take my seeds and plant them in the centers of these ziggurats. Prove to them that life will prevail. Okay. So let's uh, make our way in there. We got the skull, so I guess we can... There we go, we do that and we get a fetid skull. But yeah, it looks like this place hasn't changed at all. Just like the way it was back in, in the older versions of the game. I guess Deathwing didn't want to destroy these parts. I wonder if he's like connected to the Scourge in any way. Well, I guess they both have the same goal, right? They both want to destroy Azeroth. these plague disseminators. Let's see what we get in this hidden stash. Oh, there they are. Floating around up there. All around that cauldron. I wonder how close we have to be to it. Requires a plague disseminator control rune, so I guess these guys drop at the dark adepts. Down. I'm 
should hit level 43. Mm -hmm. I think once we turn these quests in, we'll probably hit 43. And we'll get a new talent. I think we'll most likely go with resourcefulness. Reduces the cooldown of all traps and black arrow by two seconds. That's pretty good. The other one talent we have, mirrored blades. Seems more of like a PvE talent. If there's shadow mages inside these ziggurats. Maybe we should go inside them first. And then deal with the, the decimators. Yeah, there are. It's a few shadow mages. I guess there's a shadow mage in every, every one of these. Didn't get a decimator from him, though. Yeah, I forgot to, uh... Plant the seed. Too focused on the decimators. Or the seminators. There we go. I wonder what happens to this. Looks kind of cool. The flowers just start growing everywhere. And the whelpling didn't sell. I checked the, the mailbox before, uh, before I started the, the episode. And yeah, it didn't sell, guys. Couldn't sell for 2K. Too bad. We'll keep putting it up, though. If I do sell it, we will get Epic Flying, which would be awesome. The DK's uh, the auctions are selling quite a bit. I think we're at 1,400, so right now we have 3k total on the server. And that should be more than enough to uh, get all the other... To, well, to get all the other mounts, upgrades. Oh yeah, I forgot to... Uh, I always forget this part. The seats. Gotta plant the seats. Yeah, if we sell that, we would have 5k, and that, that would give us enough coin to uh, get Epic Flying. And that's the goal. I'm hoping we can have that by 60. Would be nice to have Epic Flying for TBC and Wrath. And also Cataclysm. You get to come back to Azeroth and check out those other other zones. Oh, we can't get a. Can we just destroy them all now? Since we have one, I got. I thought we would need more. Yeah, it's overcharged. No, we're just not getting drops. It's unfortunate. I 
And it would be awesome if we got epic flanked. I would probably make Elsa my main character on the server. I also have a DK. Well, DK's 80. But I'm kind of enjoying the hunter so far. I think I would rather play a hunter than a DK in Kata. Oh, yeah. Did I forget to plant the seed again? <laughs> it's like so. There, we gotta go back in. I got one of the. Disseminators, and I wanted to use it right away. Seem like they're a little bit rare. They're also more fun to use than planting the seed and just seeing flowers grow around a ziggurat. Kind of wish you'd like wrap the roots around it and then like brought it into the ground. I think that would be cooler. And yeah, I was talking a bit earlier about uh, Blizzard making a mistake and putting like Season of Discovery ruins into um, into Classic Era for a little bit, and that's a that's a shame, man. I, I honestly think that they should have uh, made it a, made Classic Era and Season of Discovery a different client. I think that would have been better. Because then we could have avoided those mistakes. And then they could probably try um, cool stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Like, kind of like what Turtle Wow's doing with um, putting Wow on Unreal Engine. Because now I know they'll never do that because it would affect Classic Era. Nobody in Classic Era wants to see, you know, the game on Unreal Engine like that because it's supposed to at least feel like it did back in the day. I don't mind the changes that they currently made with the guild, quality of life guild stuff, and also giving brand buff to to the alliance I don't think that's that bad what brings you here May the star sooner those stand. scourge are pushed out of the fungal veil the sooner we can heal it thank you Elsa there we go we leveled up 43 let's get ourselves a rank of resourcefulness reduces the cooldown of all traps by two seconds I am honored. amidst death life even the flowers died, but shortly after they bloomed, they proved our point to the Scourge. They are losing, and we are winning. Okay, so we got a back piece here. Five Agi, seven stamina. I think that is what we will take. Put that on. We did quite a few quests today. Now it's time to... Uh, finish Pamela's story. And the reason why I, it does take away some like world PVP right in, in the Barrens when Alliance are trying to get Rend but I don't really see it that as that big of a deal. I think the Alliance should be able to get Rend easily. It is kind of unfair that the horde get a personal buff like that over the the alliance but i think blizzard did that because they knew that the alliance had had other advantages over the horde in raiding so they wanted to give the horde a little bit more damage to help them out it's just my guess i don't know if that's true but i assume that was the case Do you still have the skulls? They are critical for my spell, which will give us the chance to save Darashar, maybe. Excellent work, Elsent. Are you certain you haven't done this before? Now, Elsent, you will take part in Battle of Darashar, 
and you will save Joseph Redpath. Place this relic bundle in the Darrowshire Town Square, and the spirits of Darrowshire will rise, join the battle, and assure that those two things come to pass. Dabble must survive beyond the death of Horgus, and Redpath must survive to be corrupted and defeated. After defeating the corrupted Redpath, his spirit will be saved. Speak with him, then return to his daughter Pamela. So yeah, this is the event I was talking about. It's a pretty cool event. Hard, it was tough to do. I, mean, I needed. I actually got help from like a level 60 paladin who was uh, just in the area. I doubt there's anybody in this zone other than me <laughs> right now. In Cataclysm, but it is what it is. Okay, so here's the relic bundle. Let's place it. Okay. There they are. Help Joseph Carlin's troops defeat Darrowshire. There's uh, Darrowshire defenders. Too sure where Joseph Carlin is. Yeah, I remember I, I was kiting like crazy. I did this on a hunter the last time too. It's on my dwarf hunter. Trap and trap and trap. Yeah, it was a pretty tough battle. I assume it won't be that tough. This time around, we'll have to see. I don't know where the heck... The person we... I feel looking for him. I'm not too sure where Redpath is. There he is. Do not lose hope, Darashar. And there's Davil Lightfire. We'll play, place a trap here. There's some AOE. Okay, well, yeah, we are wrecking. Like not even close. Eventually Horgus is gonna show up though, he's pretty tough. Horgus the Ravager, there he is. This guy is a beast. We'll trap this guy. What's our dog doing? It's not doing too well. Okay, good. We pulled him off. Put a stamp. There you go. Horgus has been slain. It's pretty tough. In vanilla, but we got wrecked there. Guess we'll bandage up. Horgus, your nightmare ends now. Ah, oh, my wounds are too severe. Fight on without me. Captain Redpath, defenders of Darrowshire rally. We must prevail. There he is. These guys were tough. The blood letters? I remember them being a pain. I forget what else we need to do. I think we need to get... Somebody has to get, like, infected or something. Accept the red path's forgiveness.
Prevent Davil Lightfire's death until the death of Horgus. I think we did that. Prevent Carlin Redpath's death until the Corrupted appear. Defeat Redpath the Corrupted. So we need him to get corrupted by uh, one of these blood letters. I believe. Pretty sure. But I shouldn't really just wreck them like that. Thing is that happens so easily in vanilla because you're, you're kind of losing the battle <laughs> i was losing the battle for the most part i tried this a couple times actually i was failing quite a bit hey good he's been corrupted kill him is that him so get rid of the other stuff first there's a uh... red path to corrupted darrow shire you are doomed where the hell is he? There he is. Look at him. Place a trap here. Here our pet gets some aggro. He looks pretty cool. He has a fear. Take a look at him here. Oh damn it, he died. <laughs> I got wrecked. He's so much stronger. I was kiting like a madman during this. The vanilla questing is, I don't know, it's just better. Okay, where's this? We gotta accept uh, his forgiveness. Let him, let him rest in peace. Darkness had fallen over my eyes, but you tore me from the, my unholy reverie. You saved me, Elsa. Now I beg you to forgive me. Scourge are defeated. Daryl Shire is saved. All right, well, we accepted his forgiveness. Now it is time to have a chat with Pamela. Fighting is over. I heard my daddy whisper to me. He scared away all the ghosts, and he says he's coming home. I'm so happy. He also said, I should welcome you if you came to our house. So I made some tea. I hope you like lots of sugar. All right. Pauldrons of Darrowshire, 6 Agi, 8 Stamina, 198 Armor. Proves hit rating by 5. That sounds like an upgrade to me. Let's put that on. We're starting to get some male gear. That's good. Pretty good. Daddy told me to give you this key. He said it opens a chest out back by the, the house. He also wanted me to thank you. Did you do him a favor? Did you tell him you found my doll? Well, there's the key and thank you, Elsa. Thank you, you're a very nice man. All right, well, let's head to the back of the house here. Only I would have dropped every kid <laughs> finding a chest like this. This chest is old and covered in grime. The key fits the lock and the chest opens. We had a, a one-handed axe. That is an upgrade. 28.1 damage per second, five agis, ten, seven stamina. Here's crit by three. I think that's what we'll take. We'll equip that. And there we go, guys. That is uh, the end of the, the Pamela, quest, Pamela Redpath quest chain. Pretty good one. I like it. It's better on on vanilla, though, I'd say. I had more fun with that. With that quest in that version of the game. But it was pretty good. And I guess next episode, we will uh, ride in Fiona's caravan to the next uh, questing hub in this zone. I'm going to head back to a mailbox here. We're going to just check the mailbox quick. And uh, loot some items. Got some sales. White spider meat sold. There's the the dark whelpling that we'll try to sell soon. And so we got a bunch of other sales. Bear plank, light leather sold. We got seventeen hundred gold now. All right, so let me check skinning here. 
I wonder if we could upgrade our skinning at 286. Maybe we'll wait a little longer. And we'll head to Stormwind in a few episodes and we'll put some items back on the auction house and upgrade our skinning. Maybe do a little bit of leather working as well. Yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.